Don't you know that you're a grown up? No kids, no puns. Not a lot of you are grown up. Mo, I'm experiencing a little bit of deja vu. How about you? Uh, yeah, I feel like I was just here. <laughs> it's weird. It's... <sighs> it... Hello, everyone. If you're, one of, if you're one of the like three lucky people that was able to watch our live stream when we tried this last night, thank you for being back. Your tolerance for drudgery is admirable. Yeah. <laughs> we we had mean, a really... already beat yesterday's record. Oh, well, good gracious. Uh, you know, so I we wanted to do this because in celebration of Ralph Breaks the Internet coming up in just, uh, what is this, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, in three days, I'll get to see it oh, again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for uh, don't forget us commoners on the show have not seen it yet. Yes, you know, for you commoners only, that have only, not yet seen the film. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I mean, we're all looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing it again and again and again and again. But uh, we were talking about it. I mean, we've got a review coming up of uh, a cool uh, Wreck It Ralph toy, some other stuff on the channel, and we wanted to do a live stream of this. Yeah. Um, and uh, we tried last night; it didn't work out. But we're not going to dwell well, on that. The, I, know, I thought it was awesome. And, except excellent, except you're right. About it. You're absolutely right. It went <laughs> great. It's just that no one knew what had happened. <laughs> right. So tree fell in the woods. Yeah, YouTube kind of didn't tell anybody we were here or something. So, yeah, it was a long story. Let's not dwell on that. We're looking at Fix It Felix Jr. Yes. No, one thing I like is like how the original, like the screen that comes up first has like, you know, what's the name of the company that makes it? Como Tokitomi Mani or something like that? Tokitomi yeah. by 1982. Yep. <laughs> that's like, nice touch. So, I mean, it, people would be understandably mistaken if they thought this was a real original arcade game from the 80s. It's not, of course. Uh, it was made up for Wreck-It Ralph 1 back in 2012. But it yeah. looks so... Like, like an '80s arcade game. Yeah, I mean, it, it behaves, it acts, it feels like one. Um, and people after the after the uh, the movie, they're like, "Well, where's the ROM? How can I play it?" Like, there's no ROM. It's just <laughs> it's software someone wrote. It's literally like they have cabinets. I'm like, yeah, they're cabinets with a computer in them. The computer no... inside. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I like to uh, I like to restart it now just because it's not a ROM, right? It's not a ROM. So watch this. I'm gonna bail out of it. I'm gonna close it and launch it again. Watch this. It even acts like it's booting a ROM. They simulate it RAM and ROM okay. <laughs> Clearly, there's nothing in it. It's just a piece of software with Toby, yeah, but, Toby you know, Comey. There whoever they are. Did, yeah, <laughs> whoever did this, though, is definitely a, uh, a purist, right? They're trying to make it just right. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I said he just got a notification. Yay, YouTube working. Yay. <laughs> he just got it? Uh, he just looked at it, I guess, but uh, people are seeing okay, it, okay. so that's outstanding. Uh, so awesome. I, w I want to show you this really cool uh, little uh, video clip that is a, again, they faked it so well. We have an arcade commercial for Litwax Arcade that was released. Kind of, I think it was a DVD extra, maybe, uh, for Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, so let's uh, take a quick look at that. Welcome to Litwax Arcade, where we have fun. Friends and fix it, Felix Jr. featuring Wreck It Ralph. It's all new, fully 8 bit, state of the art, and the hottest arcade game in the world. Test your skills against this totally rad wrecker who loves living up to his wreck it name. <laughs> only you can save Nice Land. I can fix it. And be the hero. Fix it, Felix Jr. featuring Wreck It Ralph. Now at Lit Wax Arcade on Route 83, offering two free quarters on your birthday. <laughs> State-of-the-art 8-bit technology. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, they, they did a lot of cool stuff for this movie, and it's just one of the many, many reasons that I love it. Um, but, but again, we're taking a look here at the introduction of it from Wreck-It Ralph 1, and it, it, it behaves like an old 8-bit game. And so that falls right into our wheelhouse of, uh, uh, again, one of the many reasons I enjoy the film, but I mean, the game itself is no slouch. It's not rocket science. But, uh, no, it, but it's like you said, it's a game that I, if, if it was in the middle of arcade in the 80s when I went to an arcade, it would fit right in. Of course it, it would. would. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't ask twice. I wouldn't think, even think about it. Yep. Oh, my, my, my. So I say, without further ado, I think we uh, we jump in and play some Fix-It Felix Jr. What do you say? Yeah. I, oh, absolutely. <sighs> Except, you know, I still think Wreck-It Ralph is definitely the hero in this game. <laughs> He's the unsung. I, I, yeah. I'm not going to argue with you, but... Uh, uh, you know, I'm yes. thinking he's, you know, trying to protect his home and it gets bulldozed and, you know. You even have to put a coin in because it's, again, they simulated it <laughs> to the T. There's the coin. Ching. There he is. 
<laughs> That's right. You should wreck it. Wreck it for the man. <laughs> and he throws Gene. <laughs> <laughs> well, he deserved it. <laughs> Poor Gene. Ice Pirate hey, says eight bits worth. This, this is definitely a high-end luxury condominium that they built over his nice natural stump that he was living in. Yep. And interestingly, I mean, this isn't like a difficult game. If you get the patterns down, it's, uh, especially the first two <laughs> levels or so, not that tough. Yeah, but you said it gets hard, right? It does, certainly. Yep. George is here! Hey, George hey, is here! George, good to see you! That's, uh, that, that's why we did a redo of this live stream, because George couldn't make it last time. We didn't want him to be missing out. <laughs> <laughs> like he misses out on so much stuff. Uh oh, that window's broken, the arch window's broken. I fixed it, it's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's not, now it's fixed. So this first level, there's just two steps. We were down there, we went up four more floors, and we're there. So there's the pie. In the upper left of the window uh, is a pie. Pie is basically like Pac-Man's power pellet, if you know what I mean. You're vulnerable. Uh, yeah, there's no, no ghost to eat, but you can uh, certainly... The bricks don't kill you. you can clean up, yeah. Bricks don't kill you. Ducks don't kill you. Nothing will hurt you. I like to wait well, until I just have a couple windows left to get the pie. Because then you can really tear it up. Enough. Well, then you can just finish the level. And then usually you can finish with that with the pie, and you won't have to hit any more uh, any more danger. You fixed it. Uh, here comes the sad part of the show. We're poor Ralph. I'm telling you, Felix how cruel is this? This is just wrong. Yeah. The, oh, just... Ice is back from promoting the stream? Yeah, oh. I, Ice Pirate is our uh, associate director of marketing. We've already established that. <laughs> <laughs> he does a really, uh, really good wrong job. wrong that they throw him on this asphalt like that. It's, it's not asphalt, it's mud. It is totally asphalt. We, we saw it splash. Concrete sidewalk. It's just, just wet. I think it's wet concrete. <laughs> yeah, it's just wet concrete. Door's broken. And then people, just uh, so you know, I'm saying that because he has a tendency to forget to check the door. That I do have a limitation. I forget the door is broken. Well, I forget there's even a door down there. It's my problem. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look who is here! Wow. Stian is here. And correct me if I said your na name incorrectly. Stian, I believe, is uh, I forget the country he's from. He's a podcast listener. He's written in before many times. He said, oh, "I would love to make the live streams, but I never catch it." Oh, neat. And here he is. I don't know how many times I've seen him say, damn it, I missed it again. Damn it, I missed it again. He'll drop me a message. Like, I'll catch it well, one day, and here yeah. you are. There was one last night that you missed, but so did everybody and else. So did everyone so else on the bad. planet, so. Yeah, don't feel bad about with that. With sympathy, they were all missing it with you. Okay, so just have a few windows left, so pie time. There we go. I you want to clean up. Yeah. Steven, remind us uh, where on the Country globe you, you are. I remember you yeah. say you listened to us on the uh, on the train. On your way to work, Norway, or I, I can't remember. I probably just in, insulted you. I don't know where you're from. <laughs> but I remember. So forgive John. Forgive John. He's you forgive know, my my global he was born, ignorance. He was raised in Florida. America. I don't know. I don't even know the rest of the world's out there. Yeah, there's America and there's every place else. Maybe Sweden. That's a possibility. George said. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it was one of those glorious not America countries where they are polite. <laughs> It's embarrassing. So I'm up to like level three now. Something I noticed actually uh, playing the Flash version of this game is the guy that wrote the Flash version made some actual, they, although it's not faithful, he made some minor improvements that I would argue make it a little bit better. Uh, like uh, there's a plane that flies across that tells you what level you're on, which is nice. And some of the window sills flash to show you if there's a broken window to draw your eye. It's not faithful, but they were interesting improvements at all, if you know what I mean. Well, I mean, you never see anything past. You actually don't see, you see hardly see anyone actually play the game in the movie, so... That's fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what's faithful, right? Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, but you know, there's how it looks, how it sounds, how it behaves. So it's worth mentioning, I think, uh, saying that the ROM, it's not a ROM, I keep saying ROM, it's just a habit. What we are playing is actually the leaked software that came off of the arcade cabinets Disney was distributing as promotion materials for the film. 
because it is just software. Uh, but even that software didn't have the voice samples. Like when he says, I'm going to wreck it and I fixed it, those weren't in there. And So, so how'd those uh, get edited? Oh, some of the brilliant uh, emulation community people went in and they added, they pulled samples out of the film and they <laughs> added them in. So of course like, they did. There's a folder of this stuff that you can grab and it's not publicly available. But here's the thing, and we'll mention it again later too. <clears throat> If you are watching the stream and you want this version of the game to play yourself, you just need a Windows PC, uh, contact us. Just go yep. to our contact page on the website, which is genxgrownup.com slash contact. You can we'll email keep... us. Um, and if you email us, uh, I will personally send you a uh, share folder share link to a zip. Uh, virus free, I promise. I'm not trying to infect you. <laughs> that includes Except that this. they subscribe you to all Gen X growing up stuff, but that's yeah. It. I don't want to just throw it in the uh, description because I know how kosher that is. But from a, you know one individual to another, uh, I, somebody interested enough to contact us, I would totally happily give them a, a share link to this. Uh, if you're hey, enough, just, you know, to... Ice Pirate was asking about um, how well does it look compared to the mini arcade. Oh, that's a fantastic question, and the reason I'll point out why Mo is here. <laughs> We're testing out having more than one person in the stream because anyone who's done a live stream, MC Murray's here, he can tell you, it's hard to focus on what you're doing, talk and be, try to be vaguely entertaining, and read the comments all at the same time. You end up getting kind of behind. So, you know, having another person in the chat, uh, in the live stream, means not only you have somebody to bounce thoughts off of and make fun of me, but somebody to help manage the chat, which means I would not have seen the question that Ice was asking, but I did. Yes, and just so you know, the people who were not here yesterday you did miss pretty, an epic fail by John when he died oh, like four times in a row. So, just, you know, anyway, just but, I bring that up. But to Ice's question, how does this match up against the mini arcade, which I assume yes. you're talking about this little thing, this little mini arcade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the little mini arcade is, uh, this is, I mean, this is basically the gold standard. Anything other than this is a, a subset of these features. You're talking about what you're playing right now. Uh, yeah, this it's is cool. far better than that. Uh, and the mini arcade, so th there's, there's a key thing that I haven't used yet is that, and something that most people who play it just casually, they, you know, they oh, look, here's a fix a Felix machine, and they play it a little bit. They don't realize is that there are two buttons. There is yes. a jump button and this fix button. And you don't even use, you don't need to use the jump button until like the fourth level when they start adding these bricks. And the little um, handheld game doesn't even have the jump button. So they don't even have that part of the game. It's just a fix button. And I would right. say... Oh, here it comes again. Hey, this, this part eh, yeah. I would say 95% of the people who might play uh, fix a Felix maybe never play it long enough to get to the fourth or fifth level to see all that stuff. So they wouldn't even know they're missing out on that jump. Uh, but it's actually, it's around the fourth level, which I think we just entered, where it actually gets interesting. Things actually start happening. And in yeah, fact, you got ducks. Yeah, and there's one of the bricks right now. You see right over my head is one of those big chunks of brick. Yep. And you can't smash or fix that. The only thing you can do is jump over it. So like this, I'm going to come up here. It's the jump button. It's the jump button. Oh, Kryptonium! Just subscribe to Gen X Grown Up Kryptonium. Woo! I don't know if you're in the live stream, but maybe you'll see this later. Oh, I just got hit by a brick in celebration. <laughs> maybe you'll see this later, but absolutely welcome to Gen X Grown welcome Up. Welcome to our Gen X Happy Grown Up. Happy to have world. you here. I just got hit by two bricks. That's unfortunate. I'm just so excited uh, about getting uh, a subscriber. I can't believe it. No. Ralph broke Wait, another one. Shut up. I did not die again. But you listen, again, didn't you? Extra lives come so easily. MC Murr has rejoined us. <laughs> sorry, George, I'm back. What is We're it? not sorry you're back. What is this? We're not sorry. George had something to say. What did he say? Something about uh, update he on... He lulled you. Oh, uh, over 7K... Uh, 7,000 views today so far. Man, yep. Yeah, we're getting a lot All of traffic on an interview <laughs> that George did at DragonCon. He did an interview yeah. of Bill Gerard from Buck Rogers. And, in the you know, 25th century, and century, in the, century. The, the mysticism that is YouTube, it just all of a sudden sparked and caught a hold. And Who'd have thought? Yeah. I mean, it is interesting. It uh, is, it but, is. But, I mean, we have lots of interesting stuff. It just, <laughs> it, just, it just goes to show you, you know, it just it takes something sparking. And when somebody likes it, then somebody else likes it, you know, and it's like... Uh, it's like that old shampoo commercial. And they'll tell two friends, and they'll tell two friends, and so on. But YouTube is, is the two friends. Oh, Norway. Norway. So you were all I, wrong. Wait, wasn't that my guess? What did I say? You, no, no, you didn't say Norway. Oh, we're going to have to watch the replay. I thought I said Norway. <laughs> and, um, but now he's, but currently he's in Iceland at a wedding. Oh. Oh. 
Well, you know, it's sure glad to I'm sure glad to have you here, Steve. I know that uh, you are a you are a devoted podcast listener. That we I hope you're still listening. I hope we haven't bored you. Yeah, <laughs> I hope we haven't like pissed you. Right, off. right. I'm sick of these jackasses. <laughs> Stupid Americans. Yeah, yeah, we are. But let me tell you, like it's it's the school system fault here. They don't teach things like geography anymore. Yeah, or ever. Never. <laughs> no, back in the day when I was learning, yeah, I was, had to learn. Oh, oh no, no, don't hit me with a brick. Okay, get down. There was a duck. What kinds of see here's where it starts getting really challenging and interesting because Oh goodness. Steven says definitely still listening with a thumbs up. <laughs> Yay! That's a, that's an extra still listening. <laughs> Oh, good gracious. Oh, George is now pushing his podcast. All right, obviously. plug him, George. We plugged you last night during the pod, during the live stream nobody saw. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we have a brand new podcast. If you are a comic book fan. Even if you're not, it was interesting. Which, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll talk about that too. Um and, which I am not a huge comic book. You know that's that's unfair. I'm not. I'm not not a comic book fan. I'm just not a a super fan, right? Like I wouldn't seek out news and podcasts about comic books. Uh, George, however, is. And so <laughs> we channeled George's comic book mania into uh, a productive outlet, which is a dedicated oh, podcast. Oh, you died. I did. Luckily, extra men or dime a dozen in this game. <laughs> so. What's the deal with people talking about myrrh and potatoes? I'm unclear. Can I try some of those potatoes? Myrrh, I'm confused. Can you explain? Ladies and gentlemen, Bigfoot Loch Ness just subscribed to Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for being here. Hopefully you're watching. If you're not, we still love you. Maybe we'll see the replay. Sure good to have you here. Oh, check Twitter. Okay. Betty Crocker can... Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What am I missing? Maybe you I shouldn't look. Just, just, just don't look. <laughs> Maybe fine. I shouldn't be looking. Oh, good gracious. So, yeah, there's the ducks. So now we have lots of challenges, right? So look at all the, the magical chaos there is. So not only do we have falling bricks, not only do we have broken windows to deal with, now we have these window boxes that prevent your uh, vertical movement. So if there's a window box, like I can't go up there, you bump your head or your feet on it. So it prevents you from navigating freely. It starts to turn the screen into a bit of a maze. You know what I mean? Because you have to say, well, I can't go up this path. I can't go up this path. And then there's a damn duck flying across. I'm telling you, it's nature revolting against, you know, the industrialized nations of the world or something. I don't know. I'm making that up. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. You know, all nature's against, you know, fix a Felix. Because, but he's so nice. Apparently, Murr has food luck, like Ice Pirate has life luck. Murr has had food poisoning before. I've heard that story. In fact, I think is it. I think he poisoned his entire family at one point with food poisoning. Oh, did you? That's a, that's an accomplishment. Right, but but, but not on purpose. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> that's different. Sorry, that's not as much as a compliment then. <laughs> Krillin64 has joined us in the chat and on the live stream. Krillin, welcome. Good to see you here hey, again. Hey, Krillin. Just in time to see me get a brick dropped on my head. Oh, and, and yeah. walk into some other bricks. Well, this is hurting. Boy, he's, he must be bringing you luck. Or he or she. You know, this is exactly the problem I have anytime I'm playing and watching the chat. Look again! A th thrice I've gotten hit by a brick. So uh, stop looking at the chat. That's why I'm here. That's that's, that's <laughs> they took our job. <laughs> yeah, if you don't need me, I need you desperately. <laughs> so I understand, George. You're in the chat. You might be interested to know that someone you and I both know is moving over to the dark side. No. Someone is moving. It hasn't from... happened yet. It has not happened. It has not it, happened. It's kind of happening. It's. Someone we know who has the slowest internet ever is getting some faster internet via a company he despises. Oh! oh, oh and it burns! It burns! <laughs> the Xfinity dark side, Murr. I hate Comcast. Well, it's, it's not a Comcast. It's Xfinity. That's different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although they did show up on time. See? The guy's doing his stuff here. And so. they do have broadband faster than dial-up. <laughs> Unlike the AT&T you were rocking. <laughs> hey, my download was fine. It was my upload this time. That's what she said. I don't know why she said that. <laughs> Sounds like something she'd say. 
that jump button. I mean, that the jump button is adds a dimension to the game that actually makes it challenging. And uh, <laughs> thank you, Mur. Yeah. I feel like I got support out there. He just said Xfinity sucks my asshole. Oh my! <laughs> That's quite a favor yeah. they're doing you. <laughs> Mo, what you drinking? What you rocking there? What do you got? I got Newcastle. All right. We'll jump. Oh, and there's a window box. Damn, look at all the bricks they're sending down. I wonder how long they expect you to play. They, they really do. You know, I got, I got internet broadband shamed into switching. Well... Just everyone knows. It's not shame as so much as it is pure pressure. It's shame. Pure pressure. Shame. <laughs> shame. All right, peer pressure too. That works. Yeah, a little bit. Peer shame. Let's merge it. Merge the two. So oh, okay. Oh, I jumped into a brick. So from this point on, the game is pretty much the same. It, 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 if if you consider crushing difficulty, the more of the same. Yes. I mean, it gets faster. Or it gets, but right, no, right, no and you have to remember. Challenges. So so consider the source. This was actually never meant to be a game you play for more like, than for like just go. Oh look, minutes. they made a game. But the fact that there's this much playability in it is, frankly, astonishing from my point of view. You know, I would never say, well, this is the greatest game ever. I mean, it's, it's a little bit samey, clearly. But yeah. the fact that this is nothing more than a glorified marketing prop for a film, you know, for an animated cartoon, the, the care with which they created an 8-bit environment kind of arcade world, I just, it's... No, oh, it's, it's oh. great. Well, my last. I wonder minute. if anyone has tried to write this for a ROM. I don't know. And 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 could it, would it fit? Like, could well, they fit well, in? Well, it, it, seems, well, it almost seems pointless to try, you know, because it's like, it's like. I'm sure somebody has. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh somewhere. no! I, I can't jump the duck. I died. Oh death. A real death. Well, we got to put in the GXG. G. Somewhere. Oh. X. George was talking about Ice Pirate had his last, uh, is he, on game cover art. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I have to check that out. What's that? Oh, the Ice Pirate, he has his, uh, I guess he has a um, left a video that's out about game cover art. Oh, really? Which, that sounds intriguing. I'm going to have to check that out. All right. I'm adding it to my list. All right. Pick him up. We'll check him out. If you're, uh, if, you, yeah, if you're not watching Ice Pirate now, I mean, he's relatively new to YouTube. He's, uh, I think he spends more time promoting his friends than he does doing work on his own. I mean, he really <laughs> yeah, does. Yeah, we got shared love here. I see him in all the live streams. You go over, give him a sub. You check him out. That's right. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. So it's while cool. you do that, uh, let's talk a little bit about, again, why we are doing uh, Fix It Felix, because Ralph Breaks the Internet is coming up. And at the beginning of the stream, Mo, you were giving me grief. And why was that again? Yes, justifiably. <laughs> is it? And why was that? <sighs> because... Somebody was able to see this movie. It's oh, me. two weeks before release. It's me. I'm the guy. <laughs> yeah, in Los Angeles. Yeah. At the Disney Theater in Los Angeles. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, you found out about it like on Monday or Tuesday, and you flew out that Friday. You're right. I did. Yeah, you, you ain't wrong. Yep. So uh, that video is up and live now, and I have a quick promo from the beginning of it, and I want to share that with you now. Uh, if, if you don't watch the video, at least watch this part. It might be vaguely entertaining. And if you do want, uh, I think down in the description we have a link. You can go watch it, uh, the full thing. Uh, but here, take a quick peek. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. What's that? You're wondering why I'm sitting here November 14th, a full week before Ralph Breaks the Internet hits theaters, reading an art book that's clearly riddled with spoilers? Well, it's an interesting story. You see, a few days ago, I was given a really unique opportunity to see an early screening of Ralph Breaks the Internet. Well, no brainer, you're thinking, right? Well, the catch is, I'm on the East Coast. This is on the West Coast, Hollywood, California. This is something that would require logistics and planning and airfare and hotel and rental car and all of that. But the upside is, I would see Ralph more than a week ahead of time and I would get to review it for you. What do you think I did? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so I got to see it early. I came back. I made a review video. Uh, it's up now. Rubbed it in. I mean, really, all that, the whole purpose of the, all those videos was really just to make me and George feel bad. No, it's not. No, it isn't. That's, I think that was. I want you to be as excited as I am. I think uh, I think the new film has like a 92 now on Rotten Tomatoes and uh, and five tokens out of five on Gen X Grown Up. So there you have it. <laughs> I, uh, came, <sighs> I came back here from the video. I wanted to give you a look at our website, which uh, I have to get give a round of applause. Here's applause going around in a circle to Mo, who's taken over as our webmaster. And man, has he <laughs> given our site a fresh coat of paint. Uh, it's, it's alive. It's vibrant. It has this uh, automatically animated rotating thing on it. Things are broken yeah, up has... into videos and articles. And Go ahead and talk about it, Mo. No, I'm saying Mo also has that very large Patreon button just just pointing it out. In uh, case you interesting. Wonder. We'll yeah. talk more about Patreon. You bet we okay, will. Okay, but just, just, just <laughs> we'll come back to that. We'll, we'll good, circle back around to that. Good point. Yeah, we'll circle back to that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just kind of just getting our. I mean, honestly, it's we have so much content right now, which I know is not a lot compared to most, but we have a lot for us, and uh, we just need to kind of get a little bit better organized, make it a little easier to find stuff. Handle you on know, it. We, yeah. we start doing feature stuff at the top now, so it may, you know, which will probably be the latest, but may not be. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm very happy with it. I think we're still we're still evolving it, but I'm I'm happy with the direction it's going. Uh, so MC Murr says technically he's beating his meat while I watch Gen X grown up. Uh, I, I, I hope you're you. tenderizing some sirloin, or maybe you just you're enjoying us that much. You know, to each his own. You know, yeah. fl- fly your flag, man. Just enjoy life, however it is you enjoy it. Yeah. Hey, thanks. <laughs> So yeah, excellent, uh, excellent job. Uh, we're really enjoying that. Uh, and while we're on the browser here, so we want to talk a little bit. So we mentioned that there have been other versions, right, of Felix. So there's this thing that we'll actually have a review of uh, next week. We'll go live on the channel, uh, which is amazing that they actually made one of these arcade classics classics into one of these boxes. I think that's cool. But um, uh, they did a phone app. They've done uh, a flash version. I have a couple of them here just to show you how wildly variable these things can be. So let's start with this thing. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Whatever this terrible. thing is, uh, and so I guess I'm gonna. Oh my God! It's can I even start it? I gotta like refresh to get it to start. I even know it still uses Flash. Yeah, I think this one might not be Flash. The second oh one is. For, oh yes, it is. I just saw the Flash thing pop. You're right. Right, you are. So this one might I mean, not even have sound. Let's see. So we've got to see. Yeah. So like they try hit, hit the start button, press space. So they try to simulate the. You know, is it doing anything? Oh ah! Yeah, zero sound. Uh, it's it's horizontal. It's landscape instead of portrait. So that's another thing. Uh, let's let, let's see what it looks like. I'm guessing the controls are maybe spacebar and whatever. Like the building looks all broken. The people look weird. And okay, I know I it's see. nitpicky, but I mean, again, if you're gonna let us this play it, look right? Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Do it right. <laughs> Jinx. So there's Ralph trying to smash things. All right, so uh, between Ice Pirate and Murr, they're having some sort of emoji conversation that I, I can't understand. Something like a hammer and a chicken, and there's some hands. And wow, a, is there an eggplant like involved? An eggplant. Yeah, okay. there's, there's an eggplant. <laughs> so there's an eggplant. Someone has broken out the eggplant. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long. <laughs> right. Fix it, Felix. All right, let's see how this looks. I mean, some Ugh. parts are too fast, some parts are too slow. Like, they have the, they have the bitmaps, but that's about it. But this is too slow, this whole part. Oh, like, terribly. Yeah. It's it's not your connection, your crappy AT&T mode. It's actually too slow. And look how <laughs> tiny everything is. Like, what's happening? So, space bar. What? I'm hitting the space bar. I don't understand. He, like, swings the hammer one time. Like, he has a hatchet. I don't understand what's happening. Okay. I, I've, fix I've, it, hatchet, man. I've had enough okay, of that. Enough of this. Let's painful. try another one. Here's another one. This is the Flash one that actually, I think, is baked into the uh, Arcade Classic. Uh, and it actually has sound, which is nice. <laughs> Ice Pirate says it looks like a switch port. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's better. Luck. I'll say that. It, it is better. So it has some Good sound, one. at least, you can hear. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's not, not the same number of floors. Right, because, again, why? it's on the Internet. You're not required to be portrait or landscape. Just make it portrait like a... Uh, Again, I know I'm nitpicking, but... 
Well, no, I mean, it's not right. I mean, if you're going to do it, why wouldn't you just I mean, know, I've seen do it other... as close as possible? Yeah, I've seen people do other arcade games on the internet, yeah. and they make them look as, like the, as close as they can. Oh, my lord. Yeah, I just, yeah, I can't. This is just painful. Okay, I can't do any more of this. This is just, just, yeah, this is just, yeah, let's just gonna, pretend this didn't happen. I'm just going to close those tabs entirely like they never happened. Yeah, like, they the, never... like get, clear your browser history. <laughs> you know, let's get rid of it. Purge it for your memory. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. Now, Mo, you mentioned uh, something about Patreon. What is that all about? Yeah. Tell well, me more. Well, you know, we... Well, Patreon, you know, we have, you know, a select group of devout followers who really believe in what we do and what we stand for. And, you know, to the point where they're actually willing to contribute on a monthly basis That's to true. help us keep doing what we do, which is to me is remarkable. Because, you know, as, as you said in the Patreon video, you know, if they decided not to, we would do, what is it, John? The, what we're already doing. Nothing at all. Yeah, we would do nothing. We'd just keep doing it. <laughs> Speaking of Patreon video, if only I had that available. Hmm. You know, you should have that. You know. oh. Hey there, devoted viewer. You know, all of us at Gen X Grown Up hope you've been enjoying the stuff we've been putting out. I know you've heard the saying, there's no such thing as a free lunch. But then there's the little known corollary to that saying, which is, there's no such thing as free content creation. Don't get me wrong, we do this because we love it. It's not about the money it costs. But if you also love what we do and would like to help us be a little more self-sustaining, we have now launched a Patreon page where you can go and support us. In case you're not familiar with Patreon, if you've ever had somebody in your office show up to sign up for your kid's walkathon, it's like that, but it's not about walking, it's about being a dork. It's more of a dorkathon. You can head over to patreon.com slash genxgrownup and you can pledge anywhere from a dollar to as much as you'd like per month. That money goes straight to us and helps us to create the content that we do. And because we're all such shrewd businessmen, you know what we're going to do if you don't support us financially? Nothing. We're going to keep on creating the stuff we do because we love doing it. That's it. Patreon.com slash genxgrownup. Either way, we love that you're here digging the stuff that we do and we're going to keep right on doing it. Thanks and I'll talk to you next time. What's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from EMC's Comic Book Band. I. Hi, my name is Ryan Berger. I'm the publisher of Old School Gamer Magazine, and you're watching Gen X Grown Up. Hi, my name is Carter Kinney. I'm the lead designer of Twin Cop, and you're watching Gen X Grown Up. I'm Walt today, and you're watching Gen X Grown Up. Hi, this is Udi Dor. Uh, I'm one of the creators of GoCube, and I'm watching Gen X Grown Up. The game hasn't come up. <laughs> And we're back! Look at all those people who are Gen X grown-ups. And you could be too, if you're not already. <laughs> Alright, enough of the self I think Kartik is not a Gen X grown-up, though. I think he's a little bit young. I, I think he's a millennial grown-up. Yeah. So. yeah. Alright, I say we a get back to the game. Gen X. Another coin. And it even says 1982 on the start screen. I mean, they, they, yeah, no, that's awesome. they go all out. They go all out. That was a great uh, year. So it's worth mentioning, we're going to kick off another game here to take a look at, but I'm going to try to beat my high score. But, uh, Mo, you might need to duck out at some point because, as we mentioned, yeah. you have the Xfinity guy. And if you do, just let me know. And, uh, okay. And we'll uh, kill your mic and put up a slate for you. But for now, Sounds good. Ralph's uh, stump is getting taken away. And we're going to do yes, something Yes, by, by the cruel it. people who mm -hmm. pulled those stumps around. Yeah. Uh, Merce's walk and talk time. Yes, it was. It was walk and talk. <laughs> yeah, who's Tobokomi? That's just a made-up company. Georgia, he can join in Moe's place if need be. Wait, if I had the ability to rebuild OBS scenes on the fly like that, I would be <laughs> the best paid guy. I think, uh, yeah, thank you. Rather than try to juggle cats, I think Moe just needs to step out for just a second, basically, I think, to, to sign the uh, Xfinity guys thing and say yeah. he agrees that he didn't, you know, put a hole in the wall unnecessarily or something. No, I, I definitely appreciate these guys. It's not an easy job. And uh, I'm interested in what you guys watching think. I, I, I really like the uh, the uh, multi-host scenario that we're rocking here. Uh, it's oh, I yeah. hit my brick. It's it's neat. <laughs> and uh, we're actually talking about doing uh, all three of the guys together. I think we can do some multiplayer stuff. Uh, some yeah, this is, I have, I've never seen anyone really do it like, like this before with two people on it, but I think it helps. Yeah, the only time I see it, they're in the same room typically. And so we, uh, yeah. we're not. Modern technology is amazing. It's a miracle. You know, and this was really almost impossible until Discord came along with their outstanding video chat. Skype can't do this properly. No. Uh, so we're using Discord Skype to have you over. Yeah. 
And until then, it really wouldn't have worked very well. They said, and it's, I'm here so I could read out people's, uh, you know, messages to each other in their chats Heck and all yeah. that fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, into the mud yeah. we go. Uh, into the asphalt, you mean? So, so that first level is always super easy. And the second one, I think by the second layer, they start adding the, uh, uh, the window nope. boxes. You may see the uh, guy behind me. Hey, we see He's him. Not... We see a yeah. guy. Ignore the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, high-speed internet looks like, huh? <laughs> it, it arrives in a hoodie. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. You know, I, I definitely appreciate these installers, let me tell you. It's, that's, that's not a simple thing to do, especially with no. their, all the different homes no. and everything. No. I think George mentioned that he, has, uh, that he had a guy come and run Cat Sick throughout his house. And I know that's not easy because I ran just like one run of Cat 6 uh, across my attic, and that was an all-day mm -hmm. affair. It's hot. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, because we're in Florida, so it's it's not just hot. It's damn hot. Yeah, it's damn hot. <laughs> it's, yeah, you go up the stairs, you, you walk three steps, and you're covered, you're drenched in sweat like somebody threw a bucket of water on you. A bucket of warm, stinky water. Here he is, right into the sidewalk again. <laughs> Right into the sidewalk. All right, so you're, I hope you're proud of yourself. You can see the window boxes now. So we've added those. So you can see I can't go up here because they've added this. And that's that's where the difficulty really starts to come in, where they add these. Uh, it kind of makes all of the uh, the environment look like a maze a bit because you're doing yeah. your path. What George saying he said something. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you pay somebody else to do it for you <laughs> oh amen. Oh, amen i agree i wouldn't do it again i would i wouldn't do it again i, I would pay somebody to you know, as long as I get a or just deal them. with a slow connection <laughs> i can't do that nah, that's true yeah well when i first did it is because i moved into the house and uh and this is, I, this is back when i played xbox a lot all three of us played xbox together mm -hmm. a lot back then and it was wi-fi in here and the room where the router is is five rooms away and ten walls away and it was terrible and to the point i was like putting the router in the hallway to just to gain a, you know, a couple walls and a few feet out hit the head so mm, yeah the text box well, hey, as I pirate, did you play have you played fallout 76 yet pirate just asking i saw you just made a note of it there <laughs> ice pirate's like mm, xbox yeah what do we play on Xbox? That's so, we played the Crackdown. I think that was the Crackdown was the first the, one. The, the Crackdown's what got I, me to play. You, I got you to buy no, no, one. You got me I? to play it. You got me to buy one. Yep. Right first. They, the two games, Burnout Paradise. Yes, that's a great Crackdown. multiplayer game. Yeah, Crackdown. Yeah, those are the two multiplayer games that I think it's the first two multiplayer games I ever played. We played actually. the hell out of uh, Left 4 Dead on the Xbox. Oh yeah. We played a ton of that. <laughs> Dude, I remember one time we played Left 4 Dead and we decided to try like the, the hell level or hell le setting. Yeah, the, like the realistic. And we, and we didn't get past the first part. Yeah, like, it's, it's like we walked out of the safe room and it's like, hey, guess what? You're all dying. And everybody again. was laying on the ground. And, and again. And, no. Yeah, realistic. It just tells me I would not hack it in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Pirate Man. I like co-op games so much into these massive oh, online so much multiplayer. More. Yeah, yeah. I would much rather play with people all having the same goal simultaneously than playing against mm -hmm. each other. Because I don't have the time to learn where all the spawns are. And I, I say know. I, I and, and, yeah. you know, I say I, I don't, don't have the time. I say I don't make the time. There are other I things I'd desire. rather do. Yeah, <laughs> right. I would much rather you know get together in a room and have a common goal. Yeah. Mike Creamer here in the chat. He was also a big Xbox devotee. And new Royale. dad. And new dad. And new dad. Congratulations, Mike. Congratulations, Mike. I says Gears of War on co-op is fantastic. Oh yeah. I will not. That, actually, did we play that too? Yeah, that Gear, Gears, Gears two. I think we played more. They really improved it with yeah. two. two. One was great, but two yeah, added but two all was, the. Two we like the I think maybe they added the horde mode there. I forget, but they. In fact, I just saw news that Cliff Blazinski's closed down his company and claims he's never going to make another game again. Really. Which I mean, okay, you know, it's like it's like I mean, people it's saying fine, but it's like people saying I'm quitting Facebook. I'm like, just quit already. Stop telling me about it. 
Did you get, did you just being an attention whore, or what did you want to know? I said something about Halo. I missed Halo. It. Yeah, he says, can I just say Halo 1 fan parties? For the win, huh? <laughs> you know, I, I never... Halo 1. Halo yeah, 1 was... Back. That was original Xbox, right? Not the 360. That was the yeah, first... Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, guys out there correct, correct us for wrong. I didn't play um, Halo until almost when the Xbox 360 came out because I didn't have an Xbox. I was still playing GameCube. Uh, and I inherited... Uh, an old Xbox uh, original from somebody with the big Duke controller, and they had two games. We had State of Emergency and Halo. That was all it had. Uh, and so I played Halo. And I'm like, oh, this, it, it, not not as good, but it reminded me of the first time I played um, Half Life, in that it had a nice story. Oh yeah. It was. It, it had some scope to it, you know. So. Mer says, uh, have you got Gears 4? I do. Yes. Yes, yes. I do. Matter of fact, that's one you can play cross on the Xbox cross, and PC. Yeah, cross-platform. I definitely have that. Uh, I certainly haven't played co-op, but I played the, multi the single player of the campaign, which is why I like Gears the most. I... I think we tried the co-op once, I think. Did we? Yeah, I think we did. Oh, I'm stuck here. Look there. See the... Here's where the uh, those window boxes are really coming into play. I can't and he, and really he's breaking windows. Yeah, he's not he's not fucking around. He's like, you know what? You, I'm gonna break some more windows. That's what I do. I'm a wrecker. So Pirate says we have to add him on Xbox. Listen, Ice, I'll add you on Xbox Live, and it'll be a ghost town. I can't remember the last time I started my Xbox. No, oh, um, actually, you could do it now through your PC. Yeah, but I don't play. I mean, well, I guess I guess if I play like Gears on PC, I would see. It. Yeah. So you're, you're, I guess you're the Xbox Live. Right, you are. Right, you are. Yeah. Right, you are. So. Jump. Pie. Damn it, Ralph! Cut it out. There's your pie right there. I got now it. Ralph is pissed, which I don't blame because he's probably hungry and he just ate an entire pie. I think Ice just called you a some bitch. I'm just, I'm just reading the chat. That's what it says. I think I think he was talking to you though. I'm not sure. I, well, he doesn't say who, so I'm gonna assume it's you. Well, I think that little emoji he puts there looks more like you. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> you look like a little squat yellow bubble, John. Enjoy. <laughs> and, and can I say that YouTube hunt. chat has some of the worst emojis? It's like first generation Android emojis. Why don't they just use the regular emojis? Oh, uh, shit. Duck. Okay, I gotta duck out for a minute. Do you? All right. I'm gonna right. over here. All right, I'm gonna duck George out or Mo's out rather. There we go. Okay. Oh, maybe I clicked the wrong button. There it is. Okay. All right. Mo's ducked out. He'll be back momentarily. Of course, I lost a man doing it, but such is life. Ralph, you're not making this easy. Man. <laughs> Ice, don't you leave me! <laughs> we can't quit you, Ice Pirate. Alright, I think it's time for that pie. If I can get to it. There we go. Whew! Man, we got through the level. And not easily, either. I'm my last. I got one extra man. Just got an extra man. Well, that's that's something. <laughs> there goes Ralph. At least he can see Sugar Rush from the top of the building, so that's good. I don't often get to level six. I will say, so this could be over like real quick, especially with just one extra man. Jump. Oh, Ro is here. Yeah, Ro just got back. She was uh, out volunteering, being a good citizen of the planet. Oh, no! Ouch. Oh, my, my, my. We're on level six of Fix it Felix Jr., Ro. Ro, you were one of the uh, dedicated few who made it into the attempt of this live stream last night. So I know this is all repeat for you, so your uh, your tolerance for repetition is admirable. We appreciate you being back again tonight. <laughs> uh, a 
but uh, it's going much better tonight. We have uh, a lot of people in the uh, the live stream, a lot of people chatting, a lot of good chit chat. Mo is currently uh, getting Xfinity installed to replace his crappy AT&T internet, which is why he has turned into a picture of himself instead of himself. But he'll be back shortly. Oh, there's a windowsill there. Window box. Oh, I have no men left. I have to really be careful here. Damn it, Ralph! Stop smashing stuff. Like you're supposed to. There's a duck in the way. Damn! Can I even get up there? There we go. There's one. Oh, I got hit! That's it. Death. Oh. I didn't beat my high score even. That's that's a shame, but we'll put it in. You know what? Since I, I didn't beat the high score, we'll be Mo, we Mo instead. This could be Mo's high score. We'll let him have that. There we go. GXG beat Mo. Oh, poor Mo. <laughs> my, my, my. Whew. MC Mer says, when Infinity works, it's good. I, I You know, we have Xfinity, and... Uh, and I'm happy with it. I think it does well. Uh, so uh, I don't know why Mo has such uh, animosity toward them, but there you have it. Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, if you joined a little late, I want to show you. I've got a really cool piece of video that I want to share with you. Uh, on the special edition, I think the Blu-ray of uh, Wreck-It Ralph, the first one, they have this really cool commercial. It's a commercial for Litwax Arcade. And I know a lot of you just joined a little bit later, so I want to share that with you because I think it's pretty cool. Let's take a look. Welcome to Lit Wax Arcade, where we have fun, friends, and fix it, Felix Jr. featuring Wreck It Ralph. It's all new, fully 8 bit, state of the art, and the hottest arcade game in the world. Test your skills against this totally rad wrecker who loves living up to his wreck it name. <laughs> Only you can save Nice Land. I can fix it. And be the hero. Fix It Felix Jr. featuring Wreck It Ralph now at Lit Wax Arcade on Route 83, offering two free quarters on your birthday. And we're back. That video is really cool. I, I, it looks like a VHS tape. It's all crinkly. It's four by three. So they had to shoot that and make it and down convert it. And uh, yeah, the ghosting. George is commenting on the ghosting on that, which, yeah, it looks like it came off a of VHS, which I think is just amazing. You know, it's another example of the attention to detail they put into simulating, um, you know, kind of simulating a real arcade machine. You know, when we first take a look at it in... Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, I mean, in 2012, uh, seeing some footage here from the film. And, uh, you know, this is the, the very beginning when you're introduced to the arcade and kind of introduced to the game. Um, and you can see everything looks all 8-bitty. They go so far out of their way. And I know 8-bit is kind of a... It's almost it's almost overplayed a bit in a lot of game creation. But rather than this be like a modern game, they were there was talk, I understand, in the making of Wreck-It Ralph where they were going to... Uh, you know, maybe we can use Donkey Kong. Maybe we can use, you know, an existing, uh, you know, uh, bad guy, you know, because they wanted that. But pretty soon, early on, they're like, you know, not really. So in a lot of ways, I mean, Wreck-It Ralph's game here, Fix Felix Jr., is kind of Donkey Kong. You have, a, you know, an antagonist who's throwing things, in this case, bricks instead of barrels. Um, and you have, uh, you know, an and, uh, a protagonist who's, you know, working his way up. The, uh, the building was very much like Donkey Kong. So a lot of that kind of the general theme of it was based on Donkey Kong because it's very much like that. You got a, you know, you know, a big brute who's uh, the antagonist and you have a, a hero. Uh, so they wanted to make their own and they went to such extremes to make it such a good version of a fake game that many people thought maybe that it was real and understandably so. Uh, and it blends right in. I mean, they actually used an old Donkey Kong uh, cabinet to simulate, kind of model it off of. So, yeah, good stuff. Mo still back, not back yet, which is fine. We're going to try one more time to beat uh, Ye Oldie High Score. 
Oh, we got, uh, let's see, we got some comments. George, I'm gonna go watch the movie again after this live stream. Good for you, know, so am I. Uh, we, I fell asleep watching it when we were on our trip because of the overnight flights. And, uh, uh, but I have yet to watch it beginning to end this, you know, in this three or months or so leading up to the movie. Um, the good thing is you don't have to have seen or be super familiar with the movie to enjoy the sequel that you'll be able to watch next week. Uh, there, there's certainly, there's tons of callbacks to it and they do kind of throw you right into the story. So you have to like relearn the rules of the world. Like, you know, the major kind of plot point rule is that if you die outside of your game, you die for real that Sonic mentions in the first game. Uh, they talk about all that quite a bit. Of course, that's the problem Turbo has when the end of Wreck-It Ralph. But point being, you can jump into the second film with not being super fresh on the first one uh, and still enjoy it immensely. It stands on its own, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but enough of that. Hey, Moving on. Myrrh right is lurking and cooking. I am lurking and going to see if I can beat this high score uh, that isn't showing properly. But Myrrh says Wreck-It Ralph was amazing. Murr's family, they are all big Disney heads over there. Uh, every last one of them. So, I know that uh, they're going to like a lot of what they see in Wreck-It Ralph. And I talk about it in my review that I did already. Uh, that there's a link down in the description if you'd like to check it out. Uh, I was really actually concerned about the sequel because they uh, it looked like it was a big Disney party. And I was concerned that was going to overshadow the... The Ralphness of the sequel, you know, because it's, you know what I mean. Anyway, thankfully it didn't. Disney was just another place they went on the internet. It wasn't like the pivotal center, you know, that everything happened around. Um, but the uh, the payout, Ice did not care for part one of Wreck-It Ralph. Well, beg your pardon? You must not mean Wreck-It Ralph. Some other part one you mean. Oh my. One of my favorite films of all time. But yeah, uh, Disney is just another place you go. And in fact, the Disney they do give you, uh, it really pays off. It's, it's used well. So it d doesn't feel forced, quite honestly. I mean, it's clearly a Disney property, and that's why it's all in there. But you got some uh, Marvel stuff happening. you got some Star Wars stuff happening. You've got some uh, uh, Muppet stuff happening. you got some uh, Toy Story stuff, Pixar. I mean, all that stuff is in there because it's all Disney now. It's all that stuff's under one umbrella. So, uh, yep, there's a lot of... And no one's going to catch all the little nods and Easter eggs. Um, and, uh, and I will say, since uh, something I might not have mentioned, except for the fact that we just recently uh, uh, lost Stan Lee, is that there's actually a bit of a Stan Lee cameo in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, sort of. Kind of. A little bit. You'll know what I mean when you see it. Uh, and uh, I, I wouldn't spill the beans on that, except I've seen it mentioned in other uh, publications already that, uh, that that's in there. I think people are calling attention to it. An article that I saw was talking about, you know, what remaining cameos did Stan shoot before he passed away? Um, and uh, he sort of has a cameo in Ralph because he's Marvel, and anything Marvel, you're going to have some Stan Lee in, and so sure enough, he kind of... Again, I'll leave it at that. He sort of appears, so you'll know when you see it. <laughs> oh, Mo is back. All right, I'm going to bring you back, Mo, just as soon as I can get away from Ralph. There we go. I just finished a level. Mo, welcome back. Hey. Are you, are you all Xfinity'd up now? Oh, well, it's hooked up. I mean, I can't really. Yeah, you're still on the AT&T. While There's we're on, you know, yeah. doing well, this. What, what, doing a live stream and all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, doing a live stream, that's a bad time to switch in there. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so while you're away, we just took a, another peek at that cool Lit Wax commercial for the people that joined late. Because uh, a lot of folks who just came in didn't get to see that uh, cool 80s 4x3 grainy VHS commercial. As cool Yo. as that thing is. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I, I got second place on the high score, and I put in your name. <laughs> Wait, my official name? Your real name, not Moon. Ah, come on, get it. It's always a risk to jump up there in front of the bricks, and you hope that's the last window, and it doesn't just keep falling. There we go. There's a fluidness to this executable version of the game that's... 
isn't in any of these other versions. Now, we made an offer at the beginning of the stream, and I will make it once again here toward the end of the stream. This version of Fixed Felix is not readily available on the internet. It's hard to find, and I, I, John's got connections. I don't want to put a link in the description and have it publicly available yeah. and spread across the world, but... That's wrong. If you are watching this stream and you are a fan who really wants to play this version of Ralph that has all the vo vocal samples and it has all the animation and has everything in it, uh, if you'll go to genxgrownup.com slash contact and you'll drop us an email and say, hey, I watched the stream. I would love to play some Fix-It Felix. Uh, we will direct email you a link, right? Oh, I heard a puppy. Yeah, that was my puppy. We will direct mail you a link so that you can... Enjoy you some uh, Fix It Felix Jr. Some, some Fix It Felix Jr. Not Wreck It Ralph, because that's not the name of the game. You fixed it! Da, da, da. And I got a pie and a medal. And what does Ralph get? He gets to look at Sugar Rush from the top of the building. <laughs> da, 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 da. Until the second movie. MC Murr, dinner time, enjoyed it? A like dropped. Thank you so much. You dropped a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate drop that. Drop a that thumbs up. Comment. Drop a thumbs down. Drop a thumb sideways. Hit subscribe if no, you no, haven't thumbs already. Up. Thumbs up. You know, engagement's engagement. Take what I can get. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like kind of chilly in Florida. What's that? It is. You know, Ro is just uh, outside doing her volunteer work. How was the uh, How was the weather out uh, out where you were, Ro? Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, I had to wear long pants the other day. It was quite cold. <laughs> you know it's bad when John wears long yeah, pants. Yeah, well, I was headed out to get a haircut, and I got up and threw the shorts on, and it looked, I looked, I was like, uh, I asked the uh, the Amazon device that cannot be named unless it will talk to me. I asked, wait, what's the weather? <laughs> and she's like, oh, oh, 40, 40 degrees. Like, what? 40 degrees? Welcome to Florida. Yeah. And, yeah, so long pants it was. Oh, I think after this game, we are going to call it a day and wrap it. I think so. Well, what did what did I miss or what did I say? About time. Uh, you came back. I was talking to you. I told you to be home before the streetlights came back on. <laughs> Mister. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> ah! Oh! Hi. My problems are over. All you need is some pie. A pie? If, you're if, so easy. If you you're just so have easy. windows on two levels and you get a pie, you can usually finish the level. So that's pretty cool. Dun, 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 dun. Ice says, it's been in the 30s for a week. Just got back to the 60s today. Where are you located, today. Ice? If you don't mind us asking. You could say none of your business is a valid answer as well. <laughs> none ya. Yeah. None ya effin'. So it's worth noting that I'm currently... Uh, Ar oh. Arkansas. Holy. Ar Arkansas. <laughs> Don't show off your Florida education. Come on. <laughs> Arkansas. Wow. Arkansas. I'm surprised. Actually, I'm a little surprised. I thought it would be colder there, actually. It's, it's, just... Isn't that near Texarkana? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive him. Forgive him. I think it's on the border of Texarkana. The tanks of the USA. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I know I know somebody that lives in Arkansas. He would agree. I think he's not he's not talking out of school. <laughs> get a pie. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get up there. It's over there by that damn brick. I can't hardly get there. Yeah. So. Jump. You know the pie does not make you, by the way, immune to those chunks of brick. By the way. Oh, the big chunks. You can still trip on those. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. It's worth noting that in addition to uh, the humble brag about going to see the film early, I am now officially on Wreck-It Ralph vacation. Oh, yeah. no, I planned a long time ago. Listen, so right after the first film came out, and I was totally enamored with it. And okay, like, that's all the time we have for tonight, I'm, no, so no, no, thank no, you no, everyone for showing and up. I'm, and I'm like, I, I, I want swag. I want <laughs> toys and goodies and stuff. So I went to Disney. And it was like six or eight months later, and they were ed up with Inside Out, which, granted, great film, but all the Ralph stuff was gone. So I said, you know what? If there's a sequel, I'm going Can you hear me? on the day. Yeah, I hear you. 
Okay, okay. I'm going on the day it launches to Disney to see what all cool giz gizmos and toys and gadgets they have. And so I'm doing it. Yeah. I'll be in you Disney. See, you see it down there too, right? Of course, at least once. I already have my tickets. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait to see it again. And listen, I already saw it, and I saw it early. I saw it for free. I still couldn't wait to pay money to well, see it again. <laughs> free? Well, okay, I didn't pay to go in. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> there was a price to pay, granted. <laughs> yeah, and... And uh, honestly, I mean, if, you know, you're you're a super fan of this movie, so I think you definitely deserve to go. I planned on it, and I'm doing it. I says, can you hear Mo now? I can hear Mo now. Can they not hear you? Talk, Mo. Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you hear him fine? Maybe he dipped out a second. You know he has AT&T internet right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hear him fine. OBS says we hear him okay. fine. Okay. Anybody can hear Mo or can't hear Mo, let us know. He's talking. Yeah, I'm always talking. But it's, I think it's getting time. It is. Yeah, as soon as this level... Oh, he out. was joking. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. Got it. Oh, he's making a funny. Thank you. You know, like how you were trying to tune me out? Ice had my back. What was that? What was Ice? That? What? what? Huh? You heard me. What? what? Ice Pirate had my back. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thanks, man. You taint of America guys. Gotta stick up for me. <laughs> oh, hey, you. So, uh, I thought you were gonna say you were done. Excuse me? They thought you said you were gonna finish after that level. I'm gonna finish this game. I'm trying to beat oh, my high game. score. I'm gonna finish this game, yeah. Oh. So, what's your personal high score? No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> what, George? What is this, oh, George? <laughs> Just bought our <laughs> damn tickets from Ralph. He claimed he was going to boycott because of me running my mouth about it for the last six months. Yeah, he was going to go see Creed instead. Uh, he'll still see Creed. Don't worry. But he was going to see it instead of seeing Wrecking Ralph. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Don't deny yourself the joy that is Ralph. <laughs> Good on you, George. You won't be sorry. I, it's my personal yes, Genix grown-up guarantee that you will enjoy the film. Ow, I gave my brick. I think the high, although this version doesn't properly show it, is like 39 grand or something. If I remember properly. The light doesn't show it. Yeah, wife and kid overrode your boycott. <laughs> we go gate race. Good on them. I says Creed 2 is getting hammered by the critics. You know, I saw that it actually had like a 70 something percent on Rotten, so it's not like getting. You know, it's not that bad, right? I mean, seventy percent. Yeah, it's not. It's not getting the venom treatment or anything. I mean, it's. Yeah. I think they're saying it's a. What I saw, the quote that I saw, and, and I, I want to like it actually. I'm not trying to bash it. Yeah. Is they said it was a wholly predictable sequel. You know, like not awesome, not bad. It's just what you expect. Well, you know who's fighting in it, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Drago, right? The Drago's son, son, yeah. son of Drago. Or whatever. Which I'm like, okay, that seems kind of derivative, but okay. That's fine. You got a good guy, you want to fight a good bad guy. Well, I don't know. It's kind of like with the whole Star Trek reboot they did. I you said know. he really liked Creed 1, and I would I would agree. Creed yeah, 1 I like Creed 1. I have a... Can, can, I, can, I, can I, you have time for me to tell them a music anecdote about Creed 1? Uh, Donald, are you going to die soon? Uh, but I have several men. I think I'm okay. So, uh, I was on a plane, as I often am. And I decided, well, let's watch Creed. I've been wanting to watch this for a while. And I threw it in and uh, started watching it. And the guy in the seat next to me, you know, it's one of those things where he's constantly, like, leaning over, like, what's going on over there? And he kept leaning. And he's he had something playing in the back of the seat in front of him, but he kept leaning over. I was about 15 minutes in. And I leaned over, and I'm like, you want to get down on this? He's like, what? I'm like, I got a headphone splitter. He's like, Really? So, me and some random guy in an airplane sitting next to me, I started from the beginning, gave him the headphone splitter, he put down like his tray a table. Movie. Yeah, yeah, and, and when the announcements came across, <laughs> it, didn't, uh, it didn't pause like everything else does, and uh, yeah, he loved it. It was great. So, I got to watch it with a random guy, we both dug it, so that's what I always remember about Creed 1, plus being a good film. <laughs> some random guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. All right. Oh, hype. Here's, where I, here's, <laughs> so, here's where I was before. 33.5, level 6. This is where I died like several times in a row. So okay. this is going to wrap up our live stream very shortly based on my previous performance, I think. Yep. You can do it. Ah, jump. Got it. No, you can't, but... 
Oh, there's something in the way. Oh, oh! Ooh. You can hit your head on those! I've never been in a level that had that many of them up there. So I can't even oh. jump that one. Oh, that's problematic. <laughs> George says, I just brought my Super E2. Fuck <laughs> Ralph. Hey now, don't be mean to Ralph. There's enough room so in the world is, for both is movies. Is Dixit Felix in the second movie? You know, that's a good question. Um, yes, he absolutely is. Uh, okay. Some of those secondary characters, while they're pivotal to the story, they take a bit of a backseat in this film, to be certain. Uh, uh, to, I mean, it's, it's, it's in service of the story. I mean, it's a big story. Not everybody is going to the internet. It's not, hey, the entire game goes to the internet. It's Ralph does, and Vanellope does. Right. So there, he's pivotal. And remember, he married Calhoun, so they're together, yes. of course. Um, okay. So he is, he's definitely in the film. He's definitely pivotal to the story. He does take a bit of a back seat in terms of screen time, though. Okay. Uh, as long as he's in it a little bit, though. Sure, yeah. Because in many of the trailers, one to the last trailer, that we even see him in Calhoun. Yeah, you say he's not in it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. where the hell is he? Yeah, I was concerned. Like, well, yeah, come on, we need to see him at least. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're definitely in it. Jump, jump. You know, you got Windows way at the bottom there. Yeah, I, believe me, I know. All right, 39, I'm very close to the high score. I'm very, very close. Ice Pirate, what, uh, is that, what is Ice saying? Something about a random guy at a truck stop? I, 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 read I met a random guy at a truck stop. Didn't go as well as your story. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, most stories man. that start that way don't go well. Yeah. <laughs> Have you watched uh, Superstore lately? Absolutely. Did you see the last episode when he's, like, talking to the guy? Like, that makes fun. And he's like, oh, let's see what you're buying. Oh, you're buying, you're buying tarps and and hatchets and, and a, I don't a think I've seen that one yet. I might be buying oh. <laughs> Basically, this guy's buying, like, all the stuff to, like, kill somebody. Yeah, that is a underappreciated show. Well, seems to be doing okay. That feels like the high score. All right, so as we uh, as we near my, yeah, 41. Ulti oh, my ultimate death, uh, another thing you should all be aware of is uh, if you watch this on YouTube, we also have not one, but two, count them, two beautiful audio podcasts that are available for your listening pleasure any time mm -hmm. of the day or night. Uh, we have the uh, pre-existing, now over a year old Gen X Grown Up podcast, which drops yep. every single Thursday without fail, so far anyway. Uh, knock on wood now that I've said that. And, and we uh, got our backtrack this back week track. is on Novel to Be Records. Uh, no, that's in two weeks. In two weeks, in two weeks, that's in right. two weeks, that's right. Yeah, new episode Thursday, one just dropped on Thursday. And yep. the one that dropped on Thursday was our backtrack about arcades. Which was a good one. That was a fun one to do. Look what Ralph has done to me here. He's got two bricks side by side. That does not look convenient. I did it. Wow. Uh, and every Wednesday, we now have a brand new podcast that's only a month or so old called Drawn and Paneled, where we've taken all of uh, George's comic book knowledge and passion and channeled it into a brand new podcast. Uh, and it's not just <laughs> nerds talking about comic books, although there's a, there's a lot of that in it. Uh, a lot of celebrity guests, uh, editors, artists, creators of comics talking about in industry trade stuff. But he also does episodes where he talks about retro stuff. Uh, and that's, I found myself, I really enjoyed that one because uh, it's called Back Issue. And we talk about an old book and kind of kind of learn a little more about the history of, of comics. Yeah. So if you're a neophyte like I am, I found that to be really interesting. So, Yeah, I, I mean, I like that segment too just because it was comic books that when I was collecting. Mm -hmm. You know, that's from, when I, that's from my, when I was a big collector. So it was a lot of fun to listen to. Yeah. So uh, if you can head over to uh, genxgrownup.com slash pod. You can find both of those. Subscribe and listen. If you're not a podcast listener, don't blame you. Uh, George will tell you that he was not <laughs> listening to podcasts before we started doing ours, and now he runs one of his own, and he's on one right now. So, and, he, and, he's, and he's behind on listening to his other podcast. I'm sure, yeah. N nothing, nothing will mess up your schedule like having one of your own, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, check it out. You might like it. All right. You never can tell. How did cool. I get six guys? I feel like I'm going to die pretty quickly here. Or this might be the most Wreck-It Ralph fix it Felix practice I've ever had in one <laughs> sitting. And maybe you met South Difficulty? Well, maybe. I mean, it doesn't seem to be getting much harder, except for, like, just the weird... Like, Ned Elfrink just joined Gen X Grown Up as a new subscriber. Ned, I don't know if you're in the live stream Ned. or you were just hanging out. 
Uh, but we certainly welcome you if you're watching this live stream as a replay later. We welcome yes, you. Thank you, Ned. We appreciate everyone who subscribes and watches to the craziness that we do. The labor of love and everybody that uh, subscribes is an enabler to our madness. <laughs> pie! I got a pie. Man, that was close. I made it through another level. What is this, nine or something? I can't believe I got this far. Monkey. Monkey? Where's a monkey? I don't know. Oh, the, the word monkey. Donkey Kong was there. The Donkey Kong monkey, of course. The new oh. subscriber monkey. Oh, okay. Yes. I was like, what monkey? Oh, of course. The, be monkey? the best monkey We're there is. Back? Donkey Kong. <laughs> this is level nine. I, I don't think I've ever been to level nine, quite honestly. And I'm actually quite happy that we're documenting me arriving at level nine because I probably will never do it again. <laughs> well, now if it's if it's we pretty much max out the difficulty at this, I I think it's fair to say that I've maxed out the difficulty. This might be one of those endurance games. Like you you see people at conventions that are like uh, Super Mario Brothers, the, the the arcade game, right? The, not Super Mario Brothers, the Mario Brothers arcade game. You yeah. know where you're knocking crabs and stuff. I think on that one, I've seen guys at conventions that are basically just, like, difficulty's not an issue anymore. They're trying to, like, survive a certain duration and, you know, how many hours can I play? So this might be, like, a tall... Although I did just die twice in a row, so I'm not sure this is yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, I've been watching. Thanks for calling attention. Although the brick does go away when, you, when it kills you. At least so there's that. Yeah, at least there's that. Yeah, it costs you life. I don't know if that's worth it. 50 grand. All right. That's pretty good. Boop, 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 boop. Now I don't want to stop until I find out just how far I can get. This is, uh, <laughs> this might be the world record. Quick, somebody look up. What's the world record on Fix-It Felix? I'm sure I'm nowhere <laughs> near. I, I doubt there is a world record on this. This is, this is, this is a story of high score. So. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, I just hit my this, brick. Well, this is a story of high score. There's got to be. Everybody keeps track of everything. Everybody yep. wants to brag about their accomplishments. So what did uh, George just said? Number oh, he's telling us about uh, about our new subscriber, 15, number fifteen sixty eight. Got it. Yep. I'm like, what's that random number that just appeared in the chat? Got it. Damn it, Ralph! Yeah. <laughs> he just opened another one in the bottom corner. There we go. Nice. Bring another one. So a lot, but I'm down to only two extra men, so certainly ramping up a little. Ah! I'll tell you that we beat the high score that I had here before, so there's that. Yeah, you definitely did. I need to jump that. All right, moving up. Good old Nightbot. He's always in the chat. You notice that? <laughs> <laughs> What a good guy. <laughs> he's, you know, he's a regular watcher. Uh, oh, George is headed to Twin Galaxies. Oh, no, I'm trapped in the corner. Oh, God, I'm down to one extra man. Oh, I'm going to die. Uh, it's funny. You, you say that so that I know it's coming so I get to watch it. So you get to really, really enjoy the Enjoy trip. it. I get to savor it. Like, oh, he's going to die. It's going to be exciting, right? Because you're, you're talking, but you're also ahead of the game, right? Yeah. Ah. All right, Ralph, cut me some what? slack here. 146,500. Oh, that's not happening. Thanks, Papa. George, for crushing my dreams. That's not happening. <laughs> By jump, Papa. 5115. Man. Man, four, three years ago? Yeah. I think you could do it. I, th I think I could approach it if I was concentrating hardcore. Because the difficulty is definitely maxed out at this point. But if you did it, I'm sure you'd have to do it on a real cabinet, right? Not not this simulated yeah. thing that I'm streaming on the web. Even though it's doing exactly the same as what you do in the Doesn't matter. cabinet. Doesn't matter. Well, yeah, we saw what happens when you don't use you know the correct cabinets, That's right? right. You, you, you get Mitchelled. You get mi Mitchelled. You get, you get Mitchelled in the A. Oh, so George said you could be second because there's no other entries. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be, you know, if I could find a cabinet, maybe. Again, I'm sure you probably can't do it with what, what I'm playing on, but. But I, again, I, I, the skills I need to do it are here, right? Yeah. 
according to Ice Pirate, he says he says he's a world record holder. In uh, NDR bases loaded too. NDR bases loaded. Not familiar, but uh, it's it's nice to know royalty. Wow, world record holders. What is NDR? Don't know. You know? Maybe he'll like us. Spirit, can, yeah. Can you tell us what what is NDR? I'm sure, it's an acronym that I ought to know, right? No. no oh no, death run. run. Gotcha. It's, gotcha. it's a bad joke. <laughs> Right, because it's bases loaded. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't die during the baseball game? Nice. Well done. Nice. Well, see, uh, it felt it, like, don't you hate it when you have to explain it? Because that just totally ruins That's it. That's right. My joke is so good, I get to explain it to you. <laughs> it's like doing the uh, yes, yes, no segment on Reply All. Always fun. Waka waka. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still surviving. I mean, that's it's. Yeah, I was. I'm I as surprised either. as you are, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, are, you, are you just eager to, to leave? I'm just saying. I got some new internet to test well, here. Oh, look! I just got hit in the head by a brick. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Kind, kind, kind of. Oh, look, twice. Oh, You're bad yeah, luck. You know, so much happier. for my so much for my no death run. I think I think that's way behind me the no death run. <laughs> oh, I'm really in trouble now. Oh, hurry! Oh wow, they put the flower. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. They ain't playing. That's for sure. Ugh, ouch! <laughs> All right, I have no extra men. I'm sure you feel happy about that. Oh, you, you evil bastard! Oh, he fell on top of. Oh, right, and there it is. Go. There's my death. Oh. Oh, so sad. Oh. Oh. oh well, let me put, hey, put my high Ralph. score in. Bro. You know, he's always going to win eventually. <laughs> there it is. GXG. 62.5. Not too shabby. Nice. If I do say well, I'm in third. That's awesome. Well done. Way to go, Moo. <laughs> Woo. It took a while. <laughs> Man. So, hey, this is. thanks for doing this again with me, Mo. Uh, oh, this no, has been a lot of fun. Blood, All of you who watched, cool. Blood. Hey, on your way out, please drop me a little thumbs up. We sure would appreciate that. Uh, yes. If you want to know more about the film, non-spoiler review is available down in the uh, the comments. You can go check that out. We'd love for you to. Uh, we'll have some more uh, Ralph coverage next week when we do a review of uh, this little guy. We'll check that out next week. Uh, and I promise we'll get away from Ralph after that. The inundation will be over. We'll move on with our lives. But, no, it's uh, he's that's lying. just the way it is. So. He is lying. <laughs> So uh, that's cool. Mo, thanks for being here. I'm John. Hey, thanks, man. And uh, we'll see, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. Don't you know that you're a grown up? Subscribe to Gen X Grown Up by clicking right here and enable notifications so you won't miss a thing. Use the comments down below to tell us what you think. And while you're there, a thumbs up would be great too. Please share this online wherever you hang out. Connect with GXG on social networks by clicking right here. Basically, life sucks as a grown up. Bro.